Jupiter, Jupiter, presented live on the internet. The audience is live, and we're live on the internet. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Jupiter at Night. My name is Chris. I'm Alan. I'm Jeremy. You guys, Hi. I don't know how this happened on a show I'm involved in, but somehow we are going to be talking about <laughs> spiders tonight. <laughs> no, we're going to be talking about spider webs because they're not okay. quite as creepy as the things upon which I they live. I totally agree. Spider webs are not nearly as scary as actual spiders. Absolutely. Especially when they're sung by Gwen Stefani. <sighs> Why do we even bring you? Alan. <laughs> I'm here, too. <laughs> <laughs> now... I'm not a fan of the spiders, but you don't seem to mind. At least you're our go-to spider killer in the studio. I, well, I if, well, I, if I can, if I can avoid it, yeah. I don't kill them. Yeah. Um, but if there's you know only a shoe available, sorry, you're in my house. You could wow. scoop them up into the shoe. Yeah, that's my no, shoe. I yeah, I know. Now you might be onto something though, Alan, because uh, spider webs are starting to show up all over the place as these incredible, amazing. I would call it a scientific breakthrough, except for they have nothing to do with science. They're all nature. Maybe a biological breakthrough. But science there is finding go. them very interesting. Yes, they are. And they're trying to do more with them. We'll yeah. get to that in just a little bit. Check this, out this spider up here from Madagascar. This is uh, made by a spider called the Darwin's Bark Spider. which Darwin's Bark? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. We will not show pictures of it because is it, it is probably bigger than Darwin. Ooh. But uh, this spider webs can grow up. This is the central portion that's actually a web. Yeah, yeah. Can be up to three meters across. That's like nine feet. So wide. then, how heavy is a spider? The spider is huge. Yeah, I mean, he's like, about the literally. size of a dump truck. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's like big enough to fit to cover up that bald spot on your head. No kidding. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's buzzed. Whatever. Yeah, all right. It's shiny. It's okay. shiny. It is. I didn't know. Now, but you were saying this spider web, this particular type yeah. of web, is so thick and so strong. That if you could make a web big enough, this thing could oh, stop no. a plane in flight. A 747 in flight. Whoa, actually like in flight? Yeah. That's fast. Like, I, mean, that's I don't know. Moving, that's moving, that's moving they fast. don't say that it's flying at top speed, but they say oh. it could stop a plane. Hmm. In fact, I might have read in the This sounds like faulty information. It might information. be like a Cessna. <laughs> it's really. might be a Cessna. <laughs> well, Spider-Man. Okay, Cessna, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I'd be willing to believe a Cessna. Spider-Man in the movie stopped a train, so... Well, in the trailer, he did stop a helicopter. Which they took out because of the whole flying a thing into a building. Yeah, the horrible they, national track. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, now, but, also, you know, if we had webs between some of those buildings, maybe we could have prevented that from happening. Those maybe planes be, just would have bounced right maybe off. Could, like, it'd be like a good earthquake net, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know? Now, also, speaking of, like, a big net over everything, uh, this was a story that uh, you were saying came out recently, and they covered 200 yards in spider webs. These spiders just go all over this forest... Go nuts. This is a particular I, breed of spider in, that lives in Texas. It's called. It's considered the world's largest spider web, right? Yeah. I don't like the t- kind of tent spiders, tent ants, and all that. that no, make and these kind of webs, even, and it's this just, gets even creepier uh, than that because this breed of spiders is one of just a, a very uh, low population type of spider that oh. actually is social with each other. They, so they so build they the webs out. together and stuff. They build their webs all connected. Web party. <laughs> Most spiders kill each other when they meet. Spider party. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But these oh. spiders actually get along with each other and build these gigantic communities. Now, luckily for us, they have like spider Twitter. <laughs> I'm stuck on the spider party. <laughs> hey, you guys, I did a spider Twitter update. Go on. Totally caught a five year old. Could you imagine? Get over here. Could you imagine oh, how fast they could fly? <laughs> with all those legs, <laughs> that 140 characters would go like that. They would need oh, way man. more than 140. Yeah, yeah, they would. <laughs> And then you get on Spider Facebook now, and post pictures. Fortunately for all of us, these spiders die off almost every winter, <laughs> almost completely. They they die out because the winters. And then like harsh. their eggs survive. Mm-hmm. Man. And then they Kill repopulate. The eggs. What are they good for? Building a huge web. Now this one is gross. This isn't that huge, like uh, ginormous. Could stop a 747. No, web. these actual spiders are only like this big too. Yeah, and it's they're just disgusting. a huge, gigantic community of them. And they're and like and like the J man here said, they're just in Texas, and so there's actually uh, you can go online, you can find footage of some of the forests that are just completely mm-hmm. covered in this freaking thing. Apparently, it's, this last year, this 2010 season of spider webs are the biggest that they've ever been. Do they know why? No. Yikes. I mean, it's even kind of questionable as to why they work together when every other species of spiders. Uh, kill each other whenever they meet. You want to know what's one of the craziest definitions of nature, in my opinion? How everything... Okay, so you've got spiders, and they mm-hmm. exist to kill off all the bugs. Right. So Which they exist to get, kill off the smaller bugs and or plants or something. And what's weird is there's even now... Uh, and I, I, I did not even know about this till tonight. There's even a microbe that lives off of spider webs. Well, in a sense, at least. Sort of. Now, 
we'll get into some of, uh, if we have time, some of the science of the spider web itself. Um, but basically, these microbes, they aren't, uh, they can't break down the webs, but they, excuse me, they live in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Where there's, there's like no water. There's no water. Dumb. The humidity. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Why would you choice. choose to live there? Yeah, that's a good point, right? <laughs> but these microbes have survived by living on the spider webs because spider webs are a great way to collect. Yeah, they're like dew. little little, little uh, mist catchers. Yeah, because they because of their protein structure, they don't absorb the water. It just beads up on the surface, and these microbes live yeah. on the surface of the web and suck up the water that beads up on it. There's even something that lives off spider webs. How about that? That's crazy. Uh, they call it the. I'm going to totally butcher this, but I'm going to try like the. Um, Oh, I don't want the scientific. The uh, Amarado as a terrorist or something like that. It's got some horrible name that I can't pronounce. That was one hundred percent the correct pronunciation. Yeah, yeah let's just pretend like it is. Don't even also try to yeah, it. okay, we won't even try. Um, it's part of a, 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 a family of microbes called extremophiles. They call them that live in the extreme. Yeah, like zero percent humidity sometimes during mm -hmm. the day and things like that, which yeah. is pretty wild, sir. Because we it's keep finding wild, these spots extreme. where it is. We keep finding these spots where there's all these extreme life, like in the bottom of the ocean, like with these these vents in the bottom where mm -hmm. they have they have bacteria and crap living down there. Now you find out spider webs in the desert with like you'd think. Well, we've of course seen the spiders it, we've live in there. We've seen it come from space. Why are we? Yeah, that's true. Like surprised to find it. It, it, it's all over. I guess when you consider the spy, the when you consider that the spiders living there, it must not be too harsh. Well, spiders aren't. I, I like to think that spiders are very stupid. That's I like, true. I like but to think that. I, nah, dude. I hope, so. dude. Hey, if they're do not, not, do dude. not shatter my illusions, dude. If they are not, I we know. are screwed. Do you know that you know. eat a couple spiders a year in your oh, sleep? Oh God, Alan, don't don't bring that. That's up. been disproven. That's disgusting. You've been disproven. <laughs> That's true as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's get into some of the let, science. Let's we, talk. Let's talk more about webs. Yeah, because talking about spiders grosses me out. <laughs> now, is there some spiders make the webs, Chris? Shut up, Alan. Not always. Is there? Is there a it's way? Not spiders. Is there a way we could get away from the spider angle of it? Yeah. Tell yeah, me about this. Okay. Uh, scientists have managed to produce goats, genetically manufactured goats, that uh, produce spider silk in you their. See, Alan. In their goat why, milk. Alan? You don't want the spiders. You want the goats. But why a goat? Because you can make I, more. They, they have figured out that there's some sort of genetic structure in the goat milk that is similar enough that they were able to manufacture the protein sequences that are unique to uh, spider silk. So One do they milk the... It comes out as like a milky substance that has the silk do they mixed in with it. Oh. And then, then they, they can strain it out. Because this spider silk is pretty fancy stuff. Yeah. And if you manufacture it, well, how do you get a bunch of... You know, spiders, they're stupid. They, they want to kill each other. Right. So you can't just have like a big spider farm. Right. Plus, oh my God, how gross would that be? <laughs> oh, just visualize like trays full of spiders. With, oh, so disgusting. We got to end the show. But goats right there. don't We're deserve <laughs> this. What? Goats? What do you mean, you think it's a bad thing? I, I mean, just think, about all the, uh, just think about all the unemployed goats now that are going to have a good go solid work. I want to go on record work. as saying uh, okay. goats are creepy all as hell. Right. I guess in this economy, if they sign up for it, if they're getting, you know, <laughs> yeah. their Regan dollars, then why not? Now, why don't you like goats, Jeremy? Their eyes. It oh. really just comes down to those freaky pupils. They've, they're really got... Uh, You're one to talk. What? I, I'm just getting worried about all this stuff we keep modifying. Did you guys hear about the huge salmon that's going to be hitting the market soon? Yeah. Don't do that. Wild salmon's the only way. The farm fish is bullshit. You don't get any of the nutrients. Oh, man. Now we're I can go off on a tear, but I won't. I'll stop. He's a fisher. Now we're going to hear this crap about the spider silk that comes out of the cow, uh, out of the goats. Just you know what I'm here. afraid of, actually, out yeah. of this? What? Is it what if that spider DNA or whatever they use starts mutating the goats into some sort of genetic monsters that's that where i was going they want yeah six legs it's like and eight eyes but with and, goats right that's crazy and i don't want it but god damn science they're doing i know this is to get the silk because they want to do things like make uh ballistics armor like bulletproof vests out yeah. of this stuff it's yeah. always about weapons yep it yeah is military you can it's use primary. uh you can use all uh, spider silk for all kinds of different stuff in fact uh, because uh, Wikipedia is the source of all human knowledge, apparently. Oh, it's always true, too. <laughs> I it's know. Great. Mm -hmm. There's actually a, a section on Wikipedia for the human uses of spider Don't silk. Don't scroll that page because there are pictures of spiders all over it. Accidentally already did that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> uh, but we do have a link to that in the show notes if you're curious about that. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't care how amazing spider silk is. I think we can come up with another way. Goats. We can just make it. No, I don't even... If it's... if it, Because it's like you were saying, dude. If we You're go... get crazy spider goats. I don't right. want spider goats. And then they'll take over the world. And then we'll have to build robots to take them out. And, and there'll then there'll be robots robot goats up. that are But spiders. think about this. If it's you're, just a vicious cycle. If you're combating robot goat spiders, you're going to have to build your robots more like spiders. 
So that way they can be on the same equal footing. And then you're just going to have robots of your own creation. And essentially, we'll have Google as Skynet and we'll have robot spider terminators. That's that it. Part and code. the only way to save us is a zombie apocalypse. That is probably it. All right, everyone. Well, we'll keep you uh, posted as that develops every single night live here on Jupiter at Night. We are Tuesday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific, GMT negative 7 at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Is that right? Slash live. I don't know. I, I never know right. how that no. is. I'm, I like go, how you just go for it, though. Yeah, I, I, I totally <laughs> roll with that. Uh, if you, uh, you know, what, we're all, we'll, we'll probably be adjusting the time for the live show a little bit soon. And all those kind of, all the other shows, just go to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar. Mm -hmm. You see them all there. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching tonight's episode. If you wouldn't mind doing us a favor, I'd know we'd really appreciate if you could send the link out to the show, especially maybe an episode you enjoyed the most. Help spread the word so we can keep the show growing. If you know any arachnologists oh, that God. you would like to send tonight's episode to, or avoid me, so. just any little girls no. that are scared of spiders. <laughs> that Alan, works too. Alan, Alan, spiders are freaky. They can be. I was like aliens on when, this when world. I was telling bed. the chat room earlier, if we ever spiders found out are in your bed, Chris. scientifically that, that spiders were actually from an alien world, I would not be surprised. Oh, I'd be like, that. okay. Okay, that makes sense. And you know what else? That totally justifies smashing them. Yep. Extraterrestrial so life. So they there. do not belong. You're probably then helping the, the aliens. Why are you helping the alien agenda out? Because when they come and take your ass over, I'm going to be cool with them. <laughs> They're going to be like, all right, you, know, oh, you weren't like that bad. Yeah, yeah. I, for one, welcome our new spider yeah. overlords. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thanks so much for watching tonight's episode, and we'll see you tomorrow night.